So, why don't you stand up for me? Mm -hmm. And we're just going to go into the boot. So if you can just lean forward and lift your heel up a bit. <laughs> now push it back down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> that, that's that going to be really so nice for, for that carving mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. short mm -hmm. swings, um, yeah. powder, mm -hmm. right? So Moguls, stuff like that. that. Uh, uh, more things. old school on piece uh, turns as well. Um, that it's spring on the on the medial side in, brings in the England, cup um, back. Um, I really it really from your high school. Oh, it's really uh, quick and snappy. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. great. fantastic. Boxes so training, um, and then I continue my training. By well. having this mechanism here, we can also use the softest plastic on the foot, yeah. on the boot, yeah. rather, yeah. 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 over the forefoot. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 This is a really yeah. complicated, yeah. complicated, yeah. complicated yeah. area to fit. Yeah. Right? And then what if you can see in this diagram here, the there's a ton of different nerves. Yeah. Yeah. Right? The two yeah. biggest ones are both called perineal. You have the deep perineal, see that guy going deep? Right there, that branch. And then you have this one coming up here, which is called the superficial perineal. Too much pressure on those guys is going to cause these three to but go to sleep. Yeah. 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 So that's why we have this here. We have someone with a real cavus right. foot form, so real high through this area here. They get a ton of top-down pressure, yeah. which and is known as compression syndrome, and they're oftentimes will have a lot of their toes fall asleep on it. So what we can do in the customization is take this piece here and make it more concave. And if needed, we can also trim this one out. Okay. Nice thing about this design is because we control the flexion back here, right? Every every other boot out there, four, traditional four buckle overlap boots control the flexion, the stiffness and the flexibility by the interaction of this plastic with this plastic. Okay? That's why at, at the you very end skills. of your turn, sometimes okay, so you get that glue, it just, it just collapses on you because that's the plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Second thing is you have the second so law of motion um, very and the second principle in the law of motion so and that means that says that, that for every okay. action this there's an equal and opposite reaction. Kind of okay. yeah. um, yeah. Action yeah. is flexion. So in a four out. buckle... Size, no, the boots, yeah, 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 yeah because it's, it's really tough here, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's 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 um, when the, the boot itself is heated yeah. up, it's yeah. totally different, so yeah, I mean, yeah because it's really really hard, yeah. interested in the boot, yeah, and then they're like, Can I try it on? Yeah, and it's like, No, not really, because it's not yeah. your foot, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's not built for you, the ones from the, the shelf, yeah, I mean, it's totally different. Yeah. So yeah, we don't really have try-ons. Okay. But it's also like, you know, if you think about it, buying a custom suit, you know? <laughs> yeah, custom sure. on to, you can't say, hey, yeah. can I try it? No, it's on a roll, <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, so the buckles are mounted in reverse. And the reason they're mounted in the re reverse is they're much easier to close mm -hmm. using this muscle as opposed mm -hmm. to this little guy over here. I mean, mine's massive, but <laughs> most people are small. <laughs> um, and, uh, and if you're skiing deep snow, mm -hmm. they're not coming open by themselves. They're not hanging on the side, so they don't mm -hmm. pop. So everything's safe in the front.